Good evening, everybody. Uh, yeah, like Danny said, my background is in business management, and I've had a passion for business ever since I was a kid. And I've been living in Haiti the last three years working on Healing Haiti's Job Creation Initiative. But I'm not too proud to stand up here tonight and admit to you that I, when I first went down to Haiti to work on this job creation initiative, my heart was really focused on the material returns that we could get from this venture. How many jobs could we create? How many trays of bread could we make? And pizzas could we sell? And batches of cookies? The profit margins and costs? But I also approached it with an open heart and an open mind the same way that Healing Haiti operates as an organization. Healing Haiti was originally gifted two brick fire ovens that we intended to use as a place for the community to come and make bread. However, God had different ideas. What if instead we built a commercial bakery where we could employ Haitians to make bread and spur on some economic development? Aside from that, we also had an idea to start a bakery trade school where we were going to teach everyone and their mom how to make bread. Again, the Lord had different ideas, and we thought after prayer and much discussion with the community, what good would it be to train 50 people how to make bread if we only had 10 to 15 positions available in our bakery? God had different plans. We scrapped the bakery trade school idea and instead decided to make a fully functional restaurant where we could employ more Haitians, locally source our ingredients and offerings right there in the community of Titanye, and serve our communities more than just food. What resulted was our job creation initiative, aptly named FLARI, which translates to flourish. FLARI, a restaurant and bakery whose main goal was to invest in her employees and her community to see them and the human spirit flourish. I'll never forget the flurry of activity that surrounded the grand opening of these two businesses. The training and collaboration between the job creation staff from Healing Haiti and the Haitian employees was electrifying, exciting, and promising. Our dream of starting a restaurant and bakery in the community of Titanye was starting to come true. And the dreams and hopes of our staff were just beginning. I don't think a single one of us truly realized the gravity of what God had just planted in the community of Titanye. The first couple months are still somewhat a blur we were establishing ourselves as a business. Our staff was growing into a family, and my Haitian Creole was still a little bit rusty. Um, I once grew slightly frustrated with an employee who uh, had failed to provide a report for me that I had been asking for for over a week until it was pointed out to me that I had been asking if their relaxation time was ready and not their report. <laughs> so. My bad, my bad. You can imagine, though, that operating two businesses in a third world country comes with its share of difficulties. But no sooner than just a couple months into the whole affair did I realize the level of investment our employees had in Flary, the community, and myself. And there's nothing quite like the feeling of realizing the people that you had been so invested in personally, financially, and spiritually have been investing in you the whole time as well. Healing Haiti understands the realities of serving within a culture that's different from our own. The realities are different. As years pass by, our understanding of the language and culture grows, but we will forever be visitors in these gracious communities that allow us to serve alongside them. The investment we make was not, is not, and will not be possible without the help, knowledge, 
and participation of the community. Our pride is not misplaced into the financial ventures we decide to make. Our pride is properly placed into boasting and celebrating the Haitian people who believed in us, believed in themselves, and believed in their community to take this investment and turn it into something really special. We have seen Flary grow day by day, week by week, and month by month. Our bakery has gained contracts with neighboring restaurants, boutiques, and hotels. Our restaurant has become a place for food and fellowship for a multitude of different communities. Catering graduation ceremonies, Haitian wedding receptions, and health fairs, all the while spending over $25,000 in the local market alone. Yes. Our bakery has 65 independent resellers of our street bread, allowing them and their families to find a wage and participate in what we call the Flary family. Just about a month ago, we had our Flary Christmas party with all the employees and their families and friends, and I was so thankful for the opportunity to get to embarrass them in front of them by forcing them to play minute to win at games. <laughs> but I also had the chance to brag on them, to celebrate them and all that they have accomplished. We talked about how many pizzas we made that year, pepperoni being the best seller, how many batches of cookies and trays of bread that we put out. But what excited them the most what filled that room with this palpable sense of pride was that $25,000 spent in the local market, their local market. That's $25,000 extra dollars in the hands of farmers, merchants, and families because Antonio, Nadine, Solin, Pierre, Whitney, and Laika are putting out delicious food. And because Shadley, Ludi, Ronaldo, and Romeo are showing what excellent customer service in Haiti looks like. Because Modeste, Renel, Fedor, Fritz, Ellie, and Taylor are mixing, rolling, cutting, and baking over 15,000 pieces of bread a day. Because Jean Robert, Etzer, and Lubin are willing to work long hours if it means that Flary finds one more customer and that customer is served properly. Because Peterson, our manager, who will one, be, one day be running this show by himself, believes in this mission believes in this staff, and believes in this community in immeasurable ways. That is what job creation is all about. That is what healing Haiti is all about. The returns on investment we are looking for are not just jobs created or profits. The returns we are looking for start with our staff in seeing our employees and everyone we come in contact with realizing their self-worth, their God-given talents, and the promise of hope that we have in a God that multiplies and loves us through it all. It's that employee who started with us as a day laborer, who moved into security, who studied English so hard because he saw how hard of a time I was having with Creole, <laughs> who became a customer service rep, and most recently purchased land across the street from Flary, started a business from scratch, and now employs his soon-to-be wife at that business. Yep. <laughs> Thank you.
And it's that server who saves his wages and tips week after week to help his mom start her own business and who quietly purchases school supplies monthly for kids in the community he knows has no other way of obtaining them. It's the prep cook who promises me that when she has her own restaurant one day, I have a job waiting for me. <laughs> I'm gonna hold her to that. And it's that mom who gets that sense of pride of showing her daughter where she works, of showing her daughter how she is putting food on the table and clothes on her back and an education to boot. That does a lot for one's self-worth. That does a lot for one's dignity. And that does a lot for one's ability to continue to invest in themselves, continue to invest in their families, and continue to invest in their communities. And that does a lot for that young little girl who watches her mom with wide eyes and astoundment, and suddenly her spirit is ignited with the excitement and possibilities of what her tomorrow might be. Those are the investments we want to be a part of. That is why we want to always keep learning and growing and listening to God's guidance. I want to thank everybody who is here tonight, not only for coming out and listening and having a good time, but I want to thank you for what you represent tonight. When I come back to Minnesota to visit, I uh, sometimes struggle with the seemingly simple question of, how's Haiti? Because sometimes the only word I have for it is heavy. The poverty and injustice that clings to this tiny island nation don't seem fair. It doesn't get easier to see the longer you're there. It gets harder. Your heart will break for people and communities in ways that you didn't know you, your heart could break. But then there's a night like tonight a night where I get to share with you guys what God has done, what he is doing, and what he will continue to do. And man, does he just punch me in the face with all the blessings that he has bestowed upon me, Healing Haiti, and this community. And I know many of you don't know me, but I say this from the bottom of my heart, that you are all truly a blessing to me. Because this kind of generosity and this kind of love doesn't make sense to me. The Lord had to take me all the way to Haiti to wake me up to the apathy I had towards my brothers and sisters in need. Thankfully, the Lord has truly transformed my heart over these last few years and I am floored to have had this opportunity to invest and be invested in. Those names that I rattled off a little bit earlier, that staff, those people are my, are my world. And I've never experienced this type of pride or love for anyone other than my immediate family before. And that would have never been possible without people like you making the investment, maybe without even knowing the names. Our God is the God that multiplies. And when we trust in him and invest in people and individuals with the love that only he can provide, man, are the returns on investment grander than anything our earthly minds could think of. Thank you.